guys, and welcome back to our channel, Our Bean Bunch. I'm Kelly, and normally that's where you'd hear I'm Christian, but it is going to just be me today, and no super special guest, just me. I'm a Lone Ranger today, but this is a super duper exciting day. I can barely con contain, contain? I can barely keep my excitement in because we are doing the Hello Well Surprise Furniture. So we sadly do not have all four packs. We just have the three today. But I super duper promise that I will eventually, hopefully very, very soon, be getting the fourth one and we'll be posting that video in the near future. But for today, it's just going to be the three. But I am so excited about these three. Ah! Also, we have another LOL that will not be unboxed in this video, but coming super duper soon, but we are waiting for Christian to get home to unbox it. But I'll just give you a hint. It is a specific LOL, not from, not, not, not a furniture one, a specific one that Christian said he wanted super duper bad. Comment down below and comment what one you think it is. And if you're right, I will comment back and let you know that you guessed right. But... For now, let's just get into these. Uh, I don't even know which one to start with. Uh, all of them are so cute, and all of them are, I believe, all of them are little sisters to the OMG dolls. I think this is a girl. I think so. Okay, so first I'm going to take off all of the little plastic overlayer layer on all of them. So I'm gonna do that right now. And ba bam! The plasticky overlayer is off and uh, I am torn. Which one should I break into first? I will say that this was the one I was most excited for. Um, I just thought it was super duper adorable. I love that it's a car. I love that it's like the little tags. Is little tags the one that makes these car? Little tags or Fisher Price? One of the two. I was super excited that that was in here. But all of them are so cute. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to just break into the ones that I have been super excited about. So I'm going to scoot these ones out of the way and the main focus is gonna be this one. Okay, so getting into the little things on the side, it says unbox 10 plus surprises. And you can read all of these things on here. You can pause it and read it if you'd like to. Here's the front, it shows all the cute little things that you get. Super duper excited and the doll is Mick Swag. Uh, I am so excited. I'm so nervous about messing this up because I know that this is a play set. So I don't want to open it wrong. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Oh, oh there we go. <gasps> Whoa, how cool is this? Okay, so I have this one done. I'm going to put one of these on both sides of it to help it flatten itself out. Because of course I just opened it. But how cute is all of that? That is adorable. Oh my goodness, I cannot get over this. So I guess first we will talk about the car. Oh my goodness, this is what I've been most excited about. Oh my goodness, the door opens. I love like cute little silly details like that. How cute. Look at the cute license plate, if it'll focus. Oh, and it is Little Tykes. I, kn I knew that it was one of those brands. Little wheel, this is so adorable. And it has a little reserved parking spot over there. And right here we have the little tiny car that um, hooks onto the back. And look, a cute little baby license plate too. Aww. The doors do not open on this one, but that is super okay. This will be so cute for the little sisters or one of the pets. All right, so here we have all of the cute little accessories. Um, we also have these accessories right here. All right, so let's break into the non-mystery accessories first. Okay, I got those on. A little um, air freshener one. So I think that you can just pick which one you want on there. So I'm gonna have the, the little dice on there, but I'll put that one over there. Also, there is little stickers to go onto the car, but I will most likely do that later. Onto the first one. And we have a cute bottle. Next one. Adorable shoes. Super fabulous outfit. Ah, 
so cute. And such a cute hat that says baby. Okay, last but not least, we're breaking into the doll. How cute. Oh my goodness, she's adorable. Her little cute, oop, let's see if we can get her to focus. Her little cute beauty mark, her adorable braided hair. I love her. Okay, so let's get her on into her outfit. Okay, so I got her all dressed and ready to go. She is so cute, and I believe that she is Swag's little sister. How cute. Let's get her on in here. Brum brum. She is so cute. I'm loving this. And in case you guys were wondering, it says that she is a crier and a spitter. Awesome. But I would definitely make sure you're being careful when you're testing out those features because this is like a cardboard material. So make sure you don't get any of your water by this. Okay, and it's time to go on to our next one. Huh? Which one? This is a super hard decision because I love them both. I think I'm going to go with this one. Let's go with this one. Okay, I'm super sorry, Mick Swag. You're going to have to get out of the way for now. All right, so breaking on into this one, at least this time I know what I'm doing. I'm feeling a little less nervous. Oh, let's do a rundown of the box again. So here's the front. shows all the different things that you can get. 10 plus surprises. All of this super exciting stuff. The doll's name is Diva. Super cool. Let's break into it. Whoa, so much stuff. And so here we go. Um, the last one was super easy because we have both the boxes to weigh it down, but I'm gonna have to use my phone to weigh down the other side. But oh my goodness, how cute is all of this? Adorable, I'm loving it. Okay, so let's look at all of the furniture. Ooh, I'm gonna break into this first because this is kind of the big piece. It's a super duper adorable vanity. Oop, you can see the camera in there. Hi. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take off this. Oh my goodness, that's so satisfying taking that off. You can see the camera much better now. We're gonna put that on over there. Let's break into the beauty chair. Okay, so here we go. We have the cute beauty chair. And from my understanding, I think I have this correct, is that you can swap it out and put the like hair washing bowl on there. So you just swap them out, whichever you're doing, drying your hair, washing your hair. How super cute. I, oh, I didn't even realize that it moves. I love when things have silly little details like that. I love that. Put that on over there by that. Okay, so last but not least, let's, well not last but not least, we still have to open the blind, the blind bag ones, but let's open the ones that we can obviously see. Okay, so we have a hairbrush. Oop, if it'll focus. A cute little bottle and a straightener. Wow, I've never seen, ooh, I got a hiccup. I've never seen a bottle so cute and tiny. Oh, it's a hairspray. I thought it was a bottle, but it says hairspray on it. No wonder I've never seen one so tiny. It's because it's not, a, it's not a bottle, it's a hairspray. So those hook on to there. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so we're gonna break on into our blind bags, our first one. The first one has a bow. Okay, so we have a super fabulous outfit. Um, of course, Miss Diva has to be super stylish. That, I'm pretty sure that was her name, right? I think she was um, Diva. Um, some super cute tall boots. And finally, her actual bottle, not the hairspray. Silly me. And last but not least for this one, let's break into the doll. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I love her. Her hair is so pretty. I love it. Totally gives me like some Sia vibes, right? Especially with like the bow and stuff. Oh my goodness, she totally reminds me of Sia. And she is done. And oh my goodness, she's so cute. I love her. Okay, so I put her over there in her chair and she is looking super comfy. I don't know which one I love more because I love this setup. I love the whole aesthetic. Like the whole thing is super duper cute. I am loving this. <sighs> I'm kind of sad that we only have one more to go. But, 
Ooh. Um, looks like it is time for Queen Bee. Yay! I don't... Ooh. Someone's messaging me. It was Lemon Lime 65 messaging me. Okay, so once again, I'm going to move this one out of the way so the other one can have all the spotlight. So let's break into this one. Ooh. Wow. Oh, wait. We didn't even look at the box. We'll do a fast run review of the box. The front, the side. Okay, now back to this. Oh my goodness. They, I swear they just keep getting cuter and cuter as we go. And there's all the stuff. Oh my goodness. Is this supposed to be a store? I wasn't sure what this one was supposed to be. And a capsule on the other one. That's what we're going to do for this one. At least until they smoothen out because the other ones they've gotten pretty good at smoothing out. So let's start with the first thing which is the dresser I guess you would call this. Also, I don't remember if I said or not, but Miss Diva was a spitter. I don't remember if I already said it or not. Ooh, I am loving the colors. <gasps> this is awesome because I love storage, especially because we have so many LOL accessories. So storage is always awesome and always needed. Next, we have a mirror. <gasps> Aww, so cute. And again, satisfying feeling of feeling it. Super cute. And next we have the cute little body to put the clothing on. I always love these because my mom, she like does sewing. She's, um, when I was younger she did it for a living and now she just kind of does it as a hobby. Um, and I've always had like the little like mannequin things for doll clothing because my mom, she sews doll clothes. She's where my love for toys came from. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so useful. Like I can't even like, I can't even explain how useful this is. This is so awesome. All of these hangers for LOL clothing. Oh my goodness. The inner mom in me is like excited for all of this organization. <laughs> okay, so I got all the little hangers in here. I'm sure I'll put some down below later, but for now I have them all up top. Gotta love this organization. Man, I didn't think this was gonna be my favorite, but so far I'm starting to think it might be. Okay, now time to break into all of the mini little um, blind bags in here. Okay, so we have a adorable dress. So cute. A super cute little coffee cup. An adorable pair of black shoes. And a super cute cell phone. And it's a little, whoop, let me see if I can get a focus. It's a little craft cell phone. I don't know why they always have that on all the LOL toy phones. Now onto the doll. That's always the best part. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Her hair is so sparkly. I love her. Let's get her dressed. And she's dressed so cute. Here's your little cell phone, can't forget that. And I love how she kind of looks like a bumblebee with like the stripes, cause she's, you know, queen bee. Oh my goodness. A quick little overview of everything. Super cute. I didn't think this was going to be my favorite, but honestly, I'm going to say Queen Bee ended up being my favorite. Okay, so let's see what she does. And in case you guys are wondering, she's a peer. But again, when you're using the water, be super careful because this is made out of cardboard and you don't want to totally ruin it because it's super cool. Okay, now here's an overview of all three of them. Ignore my phone. I'm trying to get this one to flatten out because it's having a little bit of a struggle. But they are all so cute. I would, I love how I feel like I can pretend that these two are in a mall and this one is driving over into the mall. You're driving into the mall a little bit. You better scoot your car back. <laughs> I feel like these ones are pretty affordable compared to a lot of the LOL sets. I feel like you get a lot for the price. Um, and I just love them. This is so cute. And the furniture is awesome for those of you who have the LOL, like, mansion house thing. I feel like the furniture is super cool because then you can really mix it up inside your house. These are probably, like, my favorite LOL set so far, but the winner is Queen Bee. She wins. She's the best. Okay, the girls had to be moved down to where the boys are. That way you guys can see them. But it's time to add our three onto the collection. So we have our Queen Bee. 
our mix swag. Whoop, your shoes are a little big. And Diva. Whoop, where's her bow? Almost forgot her bow. Now we would have one more on here, but that video hasn't been posted yet. But we did record one where we would have a finished collection. So we do technically have, well not a finished collection, but a finished line up here. And we just have three more lines to fill. Super cute. I hope you really enjoyed this as much as I did. I love feeling like a kid and getting the experience of unboxing and having so much fun with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can get notified every time we post. We post a unboxing every single Monday and a vlog every Wednesday. And occasionally we're gonna be starting to post a random extra bit of content on Fridays and occasionally just whenever I feel like posting. Don't worry, we will be getting the last furniture for the series one and I can't wait for series two to come out. I'm assuming series two has to come out considering how cute these are. Thank you guys so much for being part of our Bean Bench. <laughs> Bye guys.